Well, welcome, Mr. Bill McDermott, to Ball Watching. This is a St. Louis City SC themed podcast hosted by myself, Jake, and Justin. It's we're super stoked to have you on today. I mean, my pleasure. My affectionately pleasure. known as Mr. Soccer. Is this is this one of your first ventures? This is, yeah, I would say so. I mean, it's the first time a MLS club has been here in St. Louis. I'm an MLS fan. I used to be a season ticket holder in okay. DC. Yeah. Oh, for DC United? No, Casey. Casey. The, the rival. The rival down seven. Sporting 70. KC, yeah. who at the time when they did their stadium, it was, it was the state of the art. It, it's awesome. I do now, like their stadium. Now they're going to be. Oh, the, that was, yeah. Two. The new yeah. one. On They'll be supplanted. Yes. Not just because of the stadium, but also because of the training facilities on the other side of Market Street. Yep. And everybody says, well, of course, McDermott's prejudice is in St. Louis. <laughs> no. <laughs> the proof is in what you see. This is world class. On the surface of the stadium field, you can play a World Cup game oh, yeah. right now. I don't know what the fields are going to look like in Qatar, but they're not going to look any better than this. I don't think so either. There are two grass fields, one artificial surface field on the training venue on the other side of Market Street. Offices for all the teams, the academy teams leading up to the first team, for all the coaches, upper personnel within the club, uh, locker rooms, meeting rooms. So you've gotten rooms, the tour. Whatever. We, we can, we can I have gotten yes. the tour. It is world class. Yeah. And the thing that differentiates it from every other team in the league is the fact that this is unprecedented. There is no other team in the league, irrespective of who it is, that has all these things in one downtown centralized location. It is absolutely astonishing. But if indeed this was going to happen in any city in the United States, and that is soccer is going to play a focal point of your overall sports panorama, yep. if indeed that was going to happen in any city in the United States, it should be St. Louis. The soccer capital. Without any question. I'm, we might need to clip this whole. This is incredible. <laughs> that was now, a great interview. Are you ready? I don't know where the first soccer capital in the United States is St. Louis without any question. Yep. I don't know where that is right now. Yeah. Uh, because there are so many people playing. However, I think this is positively true, and that is the birthplace of the sport is here in our city. Any degree of respectability, recognizability, uh, a newfound cachet that people might have after watching the yeah. 94 World Cup. Oh, soccer comes to the country. I've always been a fan. Oh, I watched the 66 World Cup <laughs> in England. Oh, I know Pelé played in 58 when he was 17 and sweet. No, they don't. They have no feel for it whatsoever. And the 94 World Cup comes now. Everybody's a soccer fan. Yeah. But any degree of that newfound cachet that might be in the United States now is directly attributable to what St. Louis started in 1875. It is the birthplace of the popularity of the sport in our country. St. Louis adapted, if you will, the world's game, brought it to St. Louis yep. for its own farm of the world's game. I, I mean, incredible. I, we might need to record this and put this in the history books <laughs> for the club somewhere because, holy cow, I couldn't have done a better job myself. I, mean, I, I could have been reading that yeah. and I couldn't have done a better job myself. <laughs>